Hi, welcome to a brand new video where today we will be continuing our grammar journey in the form of covering the chapter nouns and noun phrases. So let's start off with the word car. As you can see, the word car has just been expanded by adding on further description before and after it. Let's look at another word. So let's start off with women. And there you have it again. The original word women has just been expanded by adding the words the mysterious women in black. So this additional information enriches our sentence, our clause and the original noun women. So let's understand the word noun phrase. Noun phrase refers to a group of words which act like a noun. So you can have words that go before the noun, like the great river, or after the noun, like man of honor. So in each cases, the words that come before or after the noun greatly modify the meaning of the noun. So let's look at other things. Nouns have off, nouns have other words in front of them. These are called determiners. A, an, the, that, my, your. Each of these determiners either refer or quantify a noun. Now, when we're talking about referring, we're talking about who in particular we're trying to refer to. When we're talking about quantifying, we're talking about how much or how many of that noun. We also can have adject adjectives in the form of noun phrases. We can have little, blue, silly come before or after the noun. We can also use words to expand our noun, such as we can use verbs, such as a buzzing bee. Nouns act like adjectives too. So you can use the lemonade bottle. You can use a noun to expand another noun. So let's look at an example of words. So you can you see the noun tree, music fire, telephone, and book. So you can use words before the noun and make them more enriched, providing more information. Like, you can give the loud music, blazing fire. Similarly, you can add words before the noun to make it more, to modify its meaning. So words can also go after a noun to modify its meaning, such as the kiss of death. Let's look at a passage and notice the differences by made by noun phrases. The girl with red hair was afraid of flying. She was determined to overcome this fear. Her aunt in America had invited her to stay and she wanted to go. Fears like this can be overcome, she decided. So let's look at the noun phrases used in the passage. Girl with red hair. Aunt in America. Fears like this. So each of these nouns had determiners or other words come after it to modify its meaning. So noun phrases can also be used to enrich writing. 
Let's look at phrase the pa passage below. You have nouns highlighted and see if you can modify them and improve the passage. The teacher raised his eyes and looked at the class. He held up the paper. Which student has done this work? It's mine, said a voice. Come and get the reward, said the teacher. Now, you can pause this video and take five minutes to modify this passage by adding words before or after the highlighted noun. So now I expect you to be done with your own versions. Let's compare it to two other versions that I can provide. The demon-like teacher raised his bloodshot eyes and looked at the class of terrified children. He held up the crumpled and torn paper. Which miserable student has done this so-called work? It's mine, said a tiny trembling voice. Come and get the reward you deserve, said the teacher with malice in his voice. Let's look at another version. The laughing teacher raised his eyes and looked at the puzzle class. He held up the paper he'd been reading. Which quick-witted student has done this hilarious work on my life as a whoopee cushion? It's mine, said a voice from under a table. Come and get the reward for the funniest story this year, said the teacher through his giggles. Notice the differences between the two passages by the careful selection of words that went before the noun or after the noun. The first passage clearly had a darker undertone, while the second passage had a more brighter spark to it. As you can see, noun phrases and how you construct them can very much determine how your work is presented or the light in which it's presented. So you need to know when enough is enough. Sometimes writing too much is not beneficial. So let's look at the passage. The tall, imposing, and really rather massive monument was made from cool white marble with lots of little itsy bitsy infinitesimal flecks of emerald green running all the way through it. The girl gasped as she looked up at the absolutely huge, thick, chunky pillars, utterly and thoroughly amazed by its simplicity. The description contains too many objectives. Now let's read another version and discuss why it might be more effective. The tall, imposing monument was made from cool white marble with little flecks of emerald green running through it. The girl gasped as she looked up at the thick pillars, amazed by its simplicity. Sometimes less is more. Thus, be aware of using noun phrases in your own writing and also in the writing of others. Make sure that you use it to enrich your writing, but sometimes using too much can also